Shalom. First off, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High God, who name Yahweh, in the name of Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, in the name of the Rakakadash, which the Rakakadash is the Holy Spirit that comforts and guides us, especially during these perilous times to come. I also want to give a double honor to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who teach and rule well with truth and sincerity, and peace and salutations to the elect. Through the Spirit, I was meditating on the fact that. We got to have patience, especially in this thing of ours, because as we know, patience ultimately means to suffer. And us having patience and waiting on your high boss, Shimei Shai, is ultimately us showing our faith. Because if you don't have patience, ultimately you're tempting the Lord. And we see what happened in various scriptures on people that tempted the Lord. For example, the book of Samuel. When Saul then listened to the prophet Samuel, that the words of the Lord came to him and gave to, to um, Samuel to tell him to wait, and it didn't end well for him. The Lord let it be known that he was angry about that. And also when the Lord, through the Spirit, spoke through Judah, when the leaders were saying that if they don't, if the Lord didn't deliver them at a point in time, that they were going to basically give theirself over to the enemy. Like I said, ultimately that's leaning into your own understanding, saying that you don't have faith that the Lord is gonna come and save you. When we understand that Yahweh Shimi Al Shah is the one and only true and living power, and there's no one that can deliver you out of his hands. And he controls all good and evil in and outside of the world, including Satan. First scripture I'm gonna grab is Lamentations three and twenty five reads the Lord is good unto them that wait for him point blank period to the soul that seek of him and that's what we're supposed to be doing especially in these times because ultimately we went off and disobeyed the heavenly father so like the scriptures say now we're supposed to seek him 10 times more we can't rush the lord it is good that a man both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the lord because like i said if you're not waiting on your high boss, you're ultimately leaning on your, to your own understanding and which ultimately will lead to you to be destroyed. Because ultimately we got to do, we're supposed to be here doing the will of your high boss, not our own will. Proverbs 3 and verse 5, it reads, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, which the heart is the lob, and the Hebrew mean your mind, and lean out unto thy own understanding. So yeah, you can't sit there and lean unto your own understanding. Saying maybe if I go this way, I can get there faster. Because ultimately, like I said, the Lord is the. This is the Lord's movie. You got to go the Lord's way, not your own way. You got to have patience. It's clear and plain to the to to the holy to understand that. Verse five, well, verse six, and all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. You want the Lord to direct your path. Because as we can see in this world, Satan is directing a lot of these people paths ultimately to destruction. Be not wise in thy own eyes, fear the Lord and depart from evil. And that's one of the main things that we should be doing is departing from evil. Because evil is ultimately going to lead you to be de being destroyed. And that's not, that shouldn't be what you want to. Because ultimately this thing is based off endurance. Having patience, enduring to the end. Not enduring for a couple months and then you receive award. The scriptures say, Matthew 24. In verse 13, this is our Lord Yahweh Shah speaking. It reads, but he that but he that endureth until the end, the same shall be saved. Only the elect is going to be saved because the elect is the one that's going to have the patience, like I said, which means to suffer until the end. The patience, the wait on the Lord when all hell is breaking loose 
when you may be cast into prison and persecuted for righteousness sake only the elect is going to have the patience and sit and wait like the Lord says in Revelations let me get it Revelation the second chapter starting at the 10th ten, ten verse this is our Lord Yahweh shall speak and fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer behold the devil should cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried and ye shall have tribulation 10 days and we know the number 10 means I believe it's perfection so it can be more than 10 days or it can be less but you gotta have patience and wait on Yahweh Yahweh be thou faithful unto death and I will give thee a crown of life and that's what we're fighting for, that crown of life. Ultimately, the kingdom of heaven. You got to have patience. Take your time. Because you don't want to be one of them people that's rushing and make a mistake. Because as we know, Satan <clears throat> is very cunning. And you moving so fast, not paying attention, not bearing patience, and he'll mess around and trip <coughs> and trip you up. <coughs> Cause like it says, as we know, Satan is the so-called white man is doing a bend of Satan in the flesh. And we know they had the spirit of that serpent that was in the garden. And what did it say? That the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field. And we know them beasts represent, you know, different nations. This man is cunning. That's why it says. And I forgot exactly what scripture, but it's, I'm going to quote it that if, if it were possible, they would, they would deceive the very elect. But the elect is going to have the patience. And as we know, the elect is the ones that's going to be delivered from the destruction to come, which is a portion of the Israelites, which consists of the one third, which consists of a portion, like I said, the Israelites, and the Israelites are the Lord's chosen people, which are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. And like I said, the portion as well that's of the one-third is going to include some of the Israelite foreigners that may look like heathen, but are not heathen. Because their father sea line traces back to one of the 12 progenitors of the 12 tribes of Israel. That's written in my bio. I'm going to go to Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 11. It reads, I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong. Neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to the men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill, but time and chance happen to them all. So the race is not given to the swift. You got to take your time, be patient. Everyone receives their portion. Of course, we got to continue and, and, and give diligence. Matter of fact, since I say that, we got to give diligence, but you also got to take your time with it. Have patience and not rush the Lord. Because a lot of people are in that, I want it now, instant gratification spirit. Just like Esau, when he sold his birthright. Because he wanted to eat, he wanted that food right then and now when... He should have just been patient. Second Peter chapter one. And I'm gonna start at I'm gonna start at verse four. It reads, whereby are given unto exceeding great and precious promises that by these you might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruptions that is in the world through lust. And beside this, given all diligence, add to your faith virtue and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience, and to patience godliness, and to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness charity. For if these things be in you and abound, they may make they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. But he that lacketh these things is blind, and as you can see, patience was in it, and cannot see afar off, 
and have forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. And this is the um, the point. Wherefore, the rather brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you should never fall. For so an interest shall be minister unto you abundantly in the everlasting kingdom of our Lord, Yahweh Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. So like I stated earlier, it says, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. If you do these things, you will never fall. And that includes having patience. Because like I said, the Satan, the serpent is a cunning beast. Satan is cunning. So you not having patience in your rushing it's going to cause you to stumble. And that's not what you want to do. Stumble and end up, end up being destroyed. But, like I said, the point of the lesson was we got to have patience in this thing. That's all I got. The time I have right now. Shalom.